I'm Joshua Bardwell, and you're going to learn something today is the motto of my channel. My goal is to answer as many of your questions about FPV as I can. And the reason I tell you that is because if you're watching this video, you're probably a little bit new to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to download Betaflight Configurator and BL Heli Configurator. These are two really fundamental programs that you, well, to be honest, you probably came here from another video, a build video or something, and I said, and you're going to need to have BL Heli and Betaflight installed. And if you need to know how to do that, this is the video for you. What even is Betaflight? This is a flight controller, and it's kind of like the brain of the quadcopter. And the flight controller runs software, just like your computer runs software, Windows, Mac OS, whatever. And that software tells the quadcopter how to fly, more or less. And Betaflight is one type of software that can run on flight controllers that tells the quadcopter how to fly. Now, many of the videos on my channel use Betaflight. That just hap It's a very popular flight control software, and it happens to be one that I use a lot. So let's download Betaflight Configurator, which is the application that you're going to use to configure your flight controller and get it working. Betaflight Configurator can be downloaded like any other application. Uh, you get it from this URL, and I'll put that URL down in the video description so you can just click on it. Uh, and currently, the most recent one is Betaflight Configurator 1060. Actually, this one is a release candidate. A new version of the configurator is just about to come out, and this is a test version of it. Uh, we're going to go ahead and click on that, and we will scroll down to this section called assets. And this is where you can download the configurator itself. Uh, I'm going to download the Win32 version. And that's going to download the exe file. And then under Windows, at least, we just click that. And we've got an installer, just like any other application installer. After you've installed Betaflight Configurator, if you are running Windows like I am, you're also going to need to install some drivers. Mac OS and Linux have the drivers installed by default already. You lucky bastards can skip this section of the video. The drivers you want are the STM32 USB VCP drivers, and you can download them from this link, but it's a pain in the butt. They make you create an account and log in and I have a link down in the video description to my OneDrive where you can download the installer and I suggest you just do that instead of going through all that rigmarole. The file that you want is this one here, ENSTSWSTM32102.zip. And in that zip file, you're going to see driver installers for Windows 7. That's W7. I don't think you, most people are going to be running Windows 7. For Windows 8 or Windows 10 or any newer version of Windows, you're going to pick the W8 driver, and you're going to pick either X64 if you have a 64-bit operating system or X32. Most people probably have a 64-bit operating system today, but if you run the wrong one, you'll just get an error message, and you'll just run the other one. So go ahead and run that driver installer and install that driver. Now that you've installed the drivers, you can see if they have worked, and you can do that by plugging in your flight controller... And I want you to look up here at this pull-down menu, which will read, on Windows, it reads COM1 or manual selection. On Mac OS and Linux, it reads something else. And when you plug in your flight controller, you should hear a sound and you should see a new COM port appear. That will indicate that your drivers are working and correctly installed. Yay! If you are on Windows, the next thing I want you to do is go to this URL, link is down in the video description and download the impulse rc driver fixer this is another case where if you have mac os or linux you don't have this problem but with windows there's a thing that needs to be done to the drivers before you can flash your flight controller and at a some future point joshua in another video will tell you to run the impulse rc driver fixer and you'll want to have that just download it put it on your desktop put it somewhere handy you're going to need it Finally, you're going to need to download BL Heli Suite. BL Heli is the firmware that runs on your ESCs. The ESCs are the things that make the motors spin. And they're little computers in their own right, and they have their own firmware running on them. And the, uh, the software that you use to configure the ESCs is called BL Heli Suite. There are two versions of BL Heli Suite that you can use. One is called BL Heli 
and one is called BL Heli 32. And depending on which ESCs you have, you're going to need two versions of the configurator. So you're going to download BL Heli Suite 32.zip, and there's uh, this is a Windows, Linux, or Mac OS version. Or you can also download BL Heli Suite.zip if you're going to be using older BL Heli S ESCs. Many people today are going to be using BL Heli 32 ESCs and will be using BL Heli Suite 32. So we'll go ahead and we will download that. I actually need to do this. I haven't updated this in a long time. I've actually got a file on my hard drive called RC Utilities where I put these things. And here is a folder for BL Heli Suite 32. I'm just going to clear out the old stuff in that folder and open up the zip file. And I'm just going to take the zip file and drag it all over that folder. There's no installer for BL Heli Suite. You just take the files and copy them somewhere on your hard drive. Okay, done. Okay. So now you have Betaflight Configurator installed. You have the STM32 virtual COM port drivers installed. And when you plug your flight controller in, you see a new COM port appear, verifying that the drivers are installed correctly. And you've downloaded BL Heli Suite 32 and optionally BL Heli Suite if you're going to be using BL Heli S ESCs. Uh, and those are all on your hard drive. You are now ready to get on with whatever the heck else you were trying to do today. Thanks so much for watching. Happy flying.